Alright, so I've cleaned the contacts. Now I'm going to start putting on some oil. This is uh, the oil that I use. It's 3-in-1 and it's got this little symbol of a motor on it, okay? It's SAE20. This is not to be confused with the 3-in-1 all-purpose oil or WD-40 and that kind of stuff. Those oils are not good. This is what works for this product and I buy it at Lowe's for under three dollars and what I'm going to go is just every pivot point that I can possibly see I'm going to put oil on. Uh, I'm going to try my best not to get any oil on the contacts that I just cleaned. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to do just because I'm going to be dripping oil is I'm going to put something underneath the catch it. In this case it's an old Cheerios box. Uh, I just slide it under because it is going to drip oil out and I, uh, I don't need it on my concrete. So here goes with the oiling and it's every spot that I could possibly see that needs some because it hasn't had oil in a long time. Seaberg I think recommended that you oil these every I don't know six months or something but uh, I'm just going to drip it in places that I can think of. But like right here where I've got I just cleaned these contacts I don't want to get the contacts done, so, but, I, but this has to be oiled, so ever so slightly enough just to get that. Um, places that you can't reach in with a bottle, obviously there's a lot of parts inside. Uh, a lot of different things you can do to be very creative. One thing I can do is just saturate a Q-tip and go in there and rub it on. Another thing that uh, Ron, Rich, and others have mentioned is you take a, a long, thin like a screwdriver you can drip the oil you can put this down where you want it to be and then you drip oil on it and let the oil just run down uh, the screwdriver onto the part you're trying to get to other place obviously that you need some oil is on the Bodine or Bodine uh, motor I think that's what the kind this is uh, this is a fr that, that's what it is so there's two spots here and here that uh, you put oil in that drips it down in. And I like to put a little bit up on the top up here as well. Uh, so, time to oil. Uh, the one thing that I really need to oil, and you can't get to it from here, is uh, the clutch. This pin right here is like the biggest problem in the world, especially in the center part of it. So. I'm going to get that all the way down to this side and it'll give me a little more room to get in there and actually oil that. Alright, just wanted to let you know some of the things I'm doing as far as lubrication. There are a whole bunch of little pieces that move around in here that you don't have a clue what they all are for, but it doesn't matter. They all move. And so I'm dripping oil from above into all these places. Just making sure everything moves as it's supposed to, nice and smooth. So there are a lot of little spots. I'm just holding the bottle up above, and anything that I think looks like a lubrication point, I'm just dripping. And then I'm moving it just to make sure that it has all the old gunk and grease that I can possibly get out of there, out of there. hasn't been lubricated in many years and the, a lot of the old stuff just it, it, this old grease just turns to goo turns to concrete and it doesn't it, it does the opposite of lubricating it actually stops it so just dripping oil everywhere I possibly can and then just moving things around gently gently moving things again uh, physicians Creed, do no harm. You're trying to get this thing happy, not a uh, problem. Okay, so that's lubricated. I've lubricated all the pieces up in here. Um, making sure all that's going to move freely. I dip some back in here into the... Um, everything I can possibly think of up in here and now I haven't gotten to the clutch yet that's on the front side that's next